Hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video I would like to demonstrate how you can export your Revit surface model into well-known Land XML format. Land XML format, as you know, is used as an open source file format sharing, for example, ground or surface or infrastructure data between different products, platforms. With Revit 2015, we have tools that are combined on the Site Designer tab and also including Export Land XML tool. As you can see, I have here a standard Revit TopoSurface object. When I click on it, I can see Modify Topography. When I try to export this object into Land XML using Command Export Land XML, a new dialog opens. I can give a file name and a save location, for example, giving a name surface and XML file format. Now clicking save and then using the same data as before and ensuring that export topo surfaces found in the model is selected, I click OK. I can see now a second dialog where I can see names like not available. It means that I have actually two different topo surface objects in my Revit model. I can pick one and then clicking OK. And I can see that a dialog informs me that export completed. So it seems that everything is correct. Clicking OK and I will minimize my Revit window. And now I use NovaPoint VDC Explorer software to demonstrate actually the Land XML compatibility. This software is capable to import most well-known open formats like IFC and also Land XML. When I go to Model View, I can use Import File. Of course, now I can select the Surface XML I exported from Revit just a minute ago and click Open. I can give a group name, for example, Surface. I can pick a material, for example, something greenish, and then OK. But what happens is that actually nothing happens because something is wrong with my Land XML format or file. Basically, it means that before I can export my surface into XML format, I should convert it. I will close NovaPoint VDC Explorer window, do not want to save it, and then back to Revit. What do I mean by converting? I can see that Site Designer tab do have extra commands on the convert section and also I can read a topo surface conversion. So I click on it and I can give a name to my future surface. For example, as simple as that, a surface. Now I can pick a surface and of course I will pick this green surface. Now I can start the conversion clicking on convert. After conversion, I can start once again using a command export land XML. Click on it and of course I can give a file name and also location. I will give a name ground surface and save. I will keep the same settings export top of surfaces found in the model and now OK. I can see now in my extra dialog that I do have an extra top of surface with name surface. That one I do want to select and OK. Export completed. So everything looks fine so far. OK. I will minimize my Revit window and once again I will open NovaPoint VDC Explorer. I can see that I do have here now different building models. I do have architecture, structure and also MEP. Those models are imported in IFC format. My purpose is now to import also surface data from land XML file. So I use a command import file and I will select ground surface open. Just as before, I can give a group name and also a material and then OK. What happens now is that my land XML format is now correctly exported and I can see the same data as in Revit. In this NovaPoint VDC Explorer, I can do different studies, also class detection, scheduling, sun studies, and also export my model into another services. But that's already another story. So I minimize my VDC Explorer window. And to sum up, when you want to export your surface model into Land XML format, please ensure that it is correctly converted using tools on the site designer.